Hey YouTube Rando here. I wanted to come do a VR uh, and show some support for uh, a great YouTuber out there called uh, Zombie Man. Most of you are probably already uh, subbed up if you're not. I'm going to leave a link below. You can go check his channel out. He's doing a giveaway and I don't quite recall what he's giving away. Uh, but I've been subbed to him for quite a while and uh, I just wanted to come show him a little bit of support. So it's less to do with about what he's giving away and more to do about with uh, support, you know. Uh, and he wants to know about one of our hobbies. Um, now, uh, I've done hobby videos before showing you guys my hobbies, so I wanted to show you something that uh, most people, you know, probably wouldn't look at as a hobby when it comes to a prepper. Uh, but for me, it is a hobby. Most certainly, it's not a prep. Uh, and that's my guns. I, th I think last time I did comic books and uh, RC cars. Uh, everybody knows I collect knives. I got a knife channel, so... Uh, that's obvious. I wanted to do something that was a little less obvious and so I'll, I'll come show a few guns. Um, I, we do collect guns, me and the wife. Uh, my wife has a few but I have the majority of the collection. Uh, actually I had a huge collection about two years ago. I had 26 handguns if you included my 1911 collection and if you took all my sporting rifles, hunting rifles and shotguns and combined them I had twice as many rifles as I did handguns, so I, I want to say the number was high 80s. It was like 86, 87, something like that. Uh, firearms in my collection. We sold all, probably 95% of my collection got sold off, and uh, you know we had to pay things and do things around here. So <clears throat> my house needed a new roof, all kinds of shit. So we sold off my entire collection, uh, and I've just recently started building it back up. I think now we're up to 13 with uh, handguns and rifles all together. I think we're up to the 13 if you include the two I have on layaway, it's 15. <laughs> but we still have a few, uh, but most people would uh, look at these and, and consider them preps uh, because I'm a prepper, you know, I have a prepping channel. Well, I started prepping when I was 25 and I had probably half of my collection already before I ever started prepping. Um, I never considered my guns a part of my preps. We don't prep for, you know, war. We're not prepping for shit like that. We prep, sorry, uh, for stuff like that. We prep for hurricanes. 90% uh, of our preps go towards hurricanes. We have a lot of lighting. We have a lot of food storage, uh, solar power, stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff we put our money into, not guns. The guns are just something I like to do on the side. I like to shoot. Um, can't afford to shoot often, but... In fact, if you look, that's all the ammo I own right there. Uh, so that should prove right there this has nothing to do with my preps. I'm not a prepper when it comes to guns. I don't consider this part of my preps. And if you look behind the Lightning OTF back in there, those that's magazines. That's not ammo. Just this right here up front, this L, then the behind this Spyderco box, and up top up here is ammo. That's all the ammunition I have. Uh, if you if you even took the 22 rounds I have and added all my ammo all together, it would be a little over a thousand rounds, and that's with the 22 long rifle. And I would say 80% of that would be uh, 22 long rifle. So <laughs> I, I don't prep with guns. Uh, my guns are not part of my preps. Uh, if you wanted to look at my guns that are part of my preps, it would probably I would pull out my bug out bag guns. That's the only ones that I would even consider to be a part of my preps. So. Uh, you know, we don't have thousands and thousands of rounds, 10,000 rounds for one gun. If I did, I would be at the range for the next 10 weeks shooting 1,000 rounds a week, and I would be out of bullets again. So uh, we, don't, uh, we don't buy a whole lot of brass. We don't buy a whole lot of ammo for our guns. Uh, unless I know I'm going to the range the week before, then I'll buy some. We have a few hundred rounds for our primaries and, you know, maybe another 50 for our backups and that's it that's all the ammo we keep on hand uh, so this is a hobby uh, this is not a prep just wanted to make that clear but I do enjoy shooting I do enjoy my guns uh, very very pro gun over here the wife the wife was a uh, anti-gun before she got with me and then she realized you know they're not they're not as bad as people make them out to be you know, just because you collect guns don't mean you're some nut job. Uh, and I think she realized that after, well, first time I showed her my collection, she thought I was a nut job. <laughs> I'm not going to BS you. She looked at my collection, she was like, what 
what is this for? Are you going to war? And I'm like, oh, man, I just love guns. I buy guns all the time. Uh, and I still do. I just throw them on layaway. When they're paid off, I go pick them up. That's how I do my guns. Uh, and that's how we're able to afford so many hobbies is because of layaway and uh, credit and things like that. So it helps. I can tell you that much. Uh, layaway plans. Buds. Buds has an awesome layaway plan, but I don't like dealing with Buds. I usually go to my boy's pawn shop and I'll look and see what he has because he sells new guns too. He, he's a he's a dealer. He's an authorized dealer for Glock, uh, Kimber. Uh, he, he sells a bunch of different kinds of guns, but he sells brand new guns. And I'll find one that I like and I'll just throw a couple bucks on it and then come back every week and throw them something until it's paid off and that's how I get my collection. Um, honestly, my old collection, I do regret selling a few of them. Because people always ask you that, do you regret selling them? Yes, I do regret selling my 1911 collection. Uh, I regret selling the Bulgarian AKs, the Armalite AR-10, uh, those three rifles. The Bulgarians and the, and the Armalite are the ones that I miss the most and the Dan Wesson Valor I miss the Dan Wesson Valor so there are a few that I miss but 90% of what I had I do not miss um, I didn't care about you know there's there's a few guns now that I own uh, that I've purchased recently that'll never go anywhere that'll stick with me like that XDS uh, I love that XDS uh, and I'm not a Springfield guy I've never been a Springfield guy I had one Springfield in my entire collection it was a 1911, so <clears throat> that's the only Springfield I ever owned until I got this XDS, and I love that thing, man. Awesome gun. Uh, but I just wanted to come show you guys my collection, or part, a little bitty piece of my collection. These are the ones I just had handy. I'm not going to pull guns out of the uh, lock boxes and stuff like that, so. Finally got to take this one out about two weeks back. I took the fat man's advice and I pulled that sucker apart, cleaned the hell out of everything and just oiled the crap out of it and took it out and it ran, it didn't run flawlessly, but it ran closer than it's ever been to flawless. So not a bad gun once you uh, fix them up. I'm going to get that upgrade too from uh, the zip factory and we're going to install it and try to run it again and see what happens. So be looking out for it. Uh, go check Zombie Man out. Go check his giveaway out. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching YouTube.